Today we're in the house of uh, the Swans, Barb and Ken, and this is uh, where the church started just over 50 years ago. And we're going to see some of what uh, Ken gets up to here uh, in his house. Well, welcome to my office. Sometimes I call it my study because it's the place where I do most of my study. As you can see, it looks a little muddled, but take my word for it, I know where absolutely everything is. There are two chairs, one for me and one for my victim. I mean, uh, sorry, client is the in word these days. But it's the place where anyone who wants to chat comes, we sit. It's the place where if friends come, we put the worlds to right. There's a guitar here, that's to help me keep calm. You know, remember King Saul, how when he got agitated, David came and played the harp. Well, I play the guitar, so it keeps me calm. There are CDs here. I have files for my documents, you name it, I might have it. I have a desk full of interesting things, the sort of tools that you need for life, like uh, I have something that's a tool for taking Boy Scouts out of horses' hooves, things like that. But most importantly, it's here that I keep my study books, and that's the most important thing for me. The other books are distributed around the house. I'm very conscious that Timothy Oh, Paul rather wrote to Timothy in chapter 2 of his second letter he said this be diligent to present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed accurately handling the word of truth now I'm very conscious that that's a very important thing now whether or not you're someone who is a Sunday school teacher or a mentor or a leader of any sort if you're handling the word of God you should be doing it correctly. I think that we pass on our understanding of scripture and it should be that we pass on accurately what we know. But even more, I'll read it again to you. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God. To be approved by God is without measure. In Romans chapter 16 and verse 10, a man called Appels is described as being the approved in Christ. What better description could he have? What greater accolade? I still use books more than I use the internet but that's just me. But whatever you use as a resource use it to the full and the glory of God. I used to have more signs up on the wall here. Uh, I don't have so many now but I had a friend of mine who used to own a print shop and he'd print them out for me. One of my favourites was this Behind every great man is a surprised mother-in-law. Have a good week.